I I thought I was a Chad Janna, by the way. I thought I was the most Chad Janna of all time. That has unfortunately been uh, as a title that has been ripped from my grasp. This is probably the best Janna in the US, and I'm not I'm not afraid to admit it. This is a Ch a Janna top player called Happy Happy Two, who's in Master Tier, uh, who takes Smite Janna top. Uh, Vagar Two found this person on Twitter and basically was convinced that this person got ganked one time by a jungler and then decided to make it their wife's mission to ruin as many junglers' lives as is physically possible. This is incredibly strange because it is not an Iron Spectates because these people are infinitely better than I am. But this is such a weird case that like it has to be looked at. It has to be looked at, this, this particular gamer. Because this person like is master tier, clearly incredibly incredibly good at the game and and i don't know how they get away with this like at all but like they be, as far as i can tell they don't necessarily even spend a lot of time wait 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 you know what i mean like they're crazy they, 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 she gets flash out she manages to get flash out she didn't manage to get a steal one of the buff but apparently it didn't matter really she manages to get oh my god <laughs> She was ready to keep going for it. She was ready to keep going for it. Don't think that's gonna stop her. Don't think that's gonna stop her, dude. She's she's thinking about it. She's going to blue, baby. She's heading towards the enemies. Uh, or she's going towards the uh, red. Honestly, she is gonna make it. Uh, yep, she's gonna steal this. <laughs> uh, this is what this Jana does, man. This is what this Jana does. Ma master tier player, by the way. Insane gamer. Quite frankly, an admirable. Like, I don't know if it's just like, people are like, oh, it's Janna, let's kill her. Thank you very much. But like, they they've already wasted so much on Janna. But I don't know if it's even worth it. This looks like a kill for Ezreal. Oh, that shield was dirty. That shield was dirty. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe... We do a little bit of trolling, but you know what? It was a Nami triple kill. Who cares, right? What's she gonna do with that? Heal you to death? I don't think so. I can't even imagine how mentally boomed this this Janice team is. I mean, like, maybe she started a little bit too early in the season with this particular um, brand of BS, but I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I at least appreciate that she's committing to the bit. Like, she knows what she wants, and by drove, she'll do what she has. She can to stop it. I mean, listen. Like, what, what's Lee doing? Nothing, right? And now she's gonna do a little bit of counter yonkling, perhaps. Do a little bit of ganking. Rumble is on 7 CS. Mid, mid, the only lane that's realistically doing bad is top lane. And, uh, who cares? For the most part. But there's a, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm like, almost tempted to try this. There's a part of me, because I'm like, no offense to top lane. I play top lane, so let me just be, be frank with you here. But like, who cares? You know? Like, who cares? Literally, like, it is the most nobody asked lane of all time. I won't do it in ranked. Don't get me wrong. I'm talking, like, a normal game with all of you. It's basically River Janna, essentially, is what it is. Bot lane apparently is feeling the burn off of that Nami triple kill, it would seem. Good Diana coming in, though. Good Diana coming in. Well, it's very spicy. It's a free pick right there. Boom. Almost runs onto the trap, but she's kind of tonky. She's looking pretty good right now. Janna heading top, just getting a little bit in the way of um, XP here. Ooh, a strawberry milkshake. Don't say I'm not Thank you, Maisie. You. Janna's trying her best, but she's not going to be able to make it out here. But like, who, like, you know what? I'm just going to say it. Janna players, just run it down. You're never, you're never not, wait, don't, wait, hold on a minute. Don't run it down, sorry. Let me, you're never not going to be useful for a team. Janna, you can basically do whatever you want. And like you're still gonna be useful. Oh, uh, you know what? Oh, sorry. I did. All right. Did shields? Did slows? Did knockups? Did not back? Suddenly become bad? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. And all the while, the enemy team is just trying to kill you because all they see is low health bar. Meanwhile, Diana, she's three and zero. Oh. Janna worth no gold because she's died four times in the space of five minutes. This is the kind of uh, this is the kind of pro play I want to see. I am so uh, oh I read did see when like uh, LCK introduced uh, uh, and like uh, was it LPL introduced us to the seventy minute game meta. It was actually like the worst thing of all time, the slowest, most boring meta. I want to see master tier plus players having. 
13 kills on the board at six minutes into the game. This is like actually like the amount of action that happens in an iron level game. And I want, I love watching iron level games because there's always stuff that happens in them. Like if I was playing another jungler, do you think I could enable a knock up for Yasuo at level three? I don't think so, chief. That's a flash out uh, from, from Lee Sin. That's just, it's just good. I mean, granted, but he's kind of pissed up the wall a little bit, but nevertheless. Big shield, humongous. Diana comes in, that's all he down, and oh, kind of botched it, but there she's going to get out, no problem. This works, I'm telling you. I, I it, it, it must work, because this person got Master Tier basically exclusively doing this. It's a Janna diff, what can I say? I have played Janna top and ranked, to be fair, and I think it's great. I don't know if it's still good, but it was, it was great. Like, you're impossible to dive. You, like, harass like crazy. You're always going to be a ma- You're probably going to make a solid amount of impact comparable to- As long as your ADC is, like, pretty decent, you're in good- Like, you're in a good spot, I would say. Granted, when I played Janna top, I was playing, like, laning Janna. Like, I wasn't, like, Roman. But, um, hey, listen. If you want to, you gotta. Here we come in. Flash comes in from the Janna. It's a shield on Ezreal, a knock up onto the Caitlyn. That's shutdown for uh, Ezreal there. It's it's a beautiful thing. Oh baby, yes, it has 69 CS, nice. But like the like, who cares, man? He can barely even damage the tower. He's like chunking away at it, but like we're still pre 14 minutes. Those platens are super difficult to bring down. It's gonna take him a while. And then what does he have to show for it? Like an extra 500 something gold, ha extra 600, 700 gold? Yeah, sure, what are you gonna do with it? Meanwhile, we've gained like 2,000, 3,000 gold from killing your team across the map. We got dragons. We got, you know, a bit of pressure. We got your buffs. Not well, Janna hasn't been able to steal the buff there, but she's been trying her best. It's a tough one, because I, I respect the player that shakes things up. That was a really nice Rakana gauge. We got flashes down. That's super unfortunate, but it was a really great effort there. Not enough damage. Who do you think you are, you piece? You're not going to kill that, Janna. Uh, I, I really respect players that, that, that switch up a little bit. I think there's maybe like a level of consent that needs to be had with your team, especially if you're playing ranked, which obviously I would be willing to wager. I'd be willing to put money on the fact that this enemy team did not, like the red side did not give. But, um, hey, listen. It works. It works. It works. If it works, it works. What's the what's the average rank of this game? Let me check quickly. Tier average diamond one. I'll, I'm I'm kind of curious to like know like how far this Janna has gone. Like what were they? They've been this is their their peak. They peaked this season, which is like insane to me. That like they were just diamond the last season. But whatever, for whatever reason, employing this strategy this season has been what has pushed them over the top. They had they were diamond four. They were diamond four at the end of season eleven. And they're master tier from doing this. That was a really clutch shield. That's gonna make sure that Yasuo is gonna be able to survive here. Diana dropping the ulti. Boom. It's just Yasuo. What the heck are you doing? The heck are you doing? There could be like a no, a number of factors. I, I it's hard for me to see because I don't really see the the, the gold. Could I? I mean, it could be something insane like manipulating objective bounties and intentionally taking less like gold. Dude, that was like a spicy maneuver from from Rakan there. But like manipulating it, wherein your team are like guaranteed to get bounties going and then giving it to the right people. Could just be banter, you know? Could just be I'm gonna see if this works and then it worked. And then this Paris was like, I'm just going to keep trying this strategy until it works. And then it doesn't stop working. It just never stops working. If, even if it was crazy, right? I'm I'm not going to, I'm not going to pretend that I am higher than LP. Okay. If I was like, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to just troll game. I'm going to go in, I'm going to jump in around to control game. I'm going to pick Janna with Smite. Um, and then it worked. And I was like, but it worked like quite well. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it again. I'm just going to do it one more time. And it worked again. And I tried it a couple more times. And it worked every single time. You, and you can bet your bottom dollar that I would be playing that every single game. That's all I'm saying. If it's, if it's, uncon if it's stupid and it works, it's not stupid. That being said, I can't imagine. Like, I, I got to, like, give claps here to, like, the mental for for fortitude of, his, of their team, I suppose. Because, like, dude. I have had people on my team pop off for a whole lot less than a, a Janna top with Smite. I've had people pop off for like, 
like, I don't know, like, picking Teemo, man. Picking Teemo top against, like, a melee, it's like a, a melee that you can abuse, like, against Nasus, and they're like, Why are you picking them? It's so useless, dude. And it's like, yeah, I'm just picking it to, like, abuse, like, this one guy. That's it. I'll hopefully be, like, vaguely helpful later on, but, like, I don't know, man, like, grow up. Okay, this is really nice for Diana. She's 7 0. Possible. E. Nice. Dude, what has Set done with, like, the lead that he's been graciously given? He went Hullbreaker, and, like, yeah, he's running. He's managed to get onto Inhib Tower, but, like, who cares? Because, like, realistically, if he... So, he, here's the thing. If he just hard pushes in, and then they get an Inhib early on in top side, or any side, for that matter, like, bot or top, he can't go much further, like, it, like... That just gives like a, an influx of like super minions which give a billion gold for people to farm. So at that point all like red side would have to do is turtle up and farm the super minions and just get like a hundred gold a wave like off of just like one minion and get like all like 200 gold a wave or whatever which would be like kind of maybe even more actually like what was it like 250 gold a wave probably or something crazy I don't know but it would be very good you just let like a, an ADC just sit there for like 10 minutes while everybody turtles up. I'm a little bit sad that, like, I, I now feel undeserving of the title of Chad Janna. Dude! <laughs> oh my god. Just, like, completely and utterly domed. Like, utterly domed. There's no two ways about it. It's spicy. They, they've gone for the support aim as well, presumably because they roam so much and they try and get, like, you know, like, like they roam into, into lane and do some damage to, like, the laner and stuff. It's very, 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 very interesting. They're ahead as well in total team gold, which is crazy. Here comes Janna. Dude, now it's over. She has ulti. I see as she just gets like dome piece by a set. That was the second she presses the button. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, man. Like, I think Set made a mistake with Hullbreaker. Because now he's joined his team. It's just like a waste of gold. To some degree. That was an ins that was a pretty bold Ezreal maneuver there. I respect it, dude. You gotta be honest with you. They're trying to make something happen here, but it's just not happening. This game is chaos, man. How is this how is this master tier game, man? I'm loving this. See if like regular pro games are like this chaotic, man. I would freaking I'd actually watch I'd, I'd watch like pro games, man. Like good players under duress, like extreme duress. It'd be like, uh, do you remember Nemesis mode, League of Legends, where like you, the enemy team picked your champions for you? It would be like that, but like the enemy team gets to pick one champion for the enemy team, and then they all have to like struggle and figure out how to play around like one of their team being a complete and utter wild card. Dude, can't still going for it, man. He just does not care. The lead closed a little bit there. They're now three k down. They're not nearly as far ahead as they should be. Now it's just deep. Now they've been overtaken, man. Like, it's not nearly as far as it should be. This Janna is commanding presence. Somehow. Like, they just keep trying to kill her, but, like, she's, like... The thing is, like, she is worth trying to kill. If she's allowed to live, she gives knock-up, she gives slow, she gives shield, she gives, like, heals, she gives knockbacks, whatever, disengage, etc. But, like, man, there just comes a point when you gotta be like, man, we, we are wasting, like, so much... Trying to kill this Janna. Like, why are we doing this? We keep on focusing her, and it's just not happening for us, dude. Like, it's just not working. When are we gonna make a change? But, like, by the point that you realize that, like, it's not even worth it. Like, they just they went two for all. Really trying to murder Janna. Like, she's the only one of the team that ended up actually getting low there. Yeah, so, like, came a bit close, but, like, not nearly close enough where it was too much of a threat. We got the knockout coming in. But, oh, that was the, the, the showstopper. He might actually live here. Oh, pro belt finishes him off. Very nice. Yeah, Yasuo back up to full already. Just doing a little, bit, doing a little bit of healing. Well, not full, but pretty much. Janna should run Hullbreaker or Demolisher to split push late game. I don't think you want that. I think you make her just a, a designated second support. Um, you could, you could even have like a tank support or an engage support instead of an enchanter. You don't need two enchanters necessarily, but you, you just have like somebody who can peel or somebody who can engage. And then you have somebody who, like, Janna, who is able to, to, to like, make Ezreal, or make, like, Yasuo buff as heck. I mean, even without the shields, like, Janna is just, like, a really easy and free 
knock up enabler for Yasuo at its base level. So like there's there's a lot that she brings to the team without without even having a single item in her inventory, which is which is which is really cool. I like Jana, I don't know if you could tell, but um The 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 Diana has been playing crazy out of her mind though as well. Jana has been baiting in some some dum dums and they she's been capitalizing on the on the spoils of war there for sure. Like they're like I mean, he's he is a hundred percent going for it. See, even that, like, we send Flash to try and knock the Dragon's Rage into Yasuo, and it's like, why? <laughs> like, where do you stand to gain from killing a one in seven Janna? Like, not nearly as much as you want. Boom, Rakan picks it up. It's a freaking twofer, and it looks like it could be a threefer. Th a threefer. She's running for her life though. The second that Janna realizes what's happening, she's done so, dude. She's done so already, dude. Now we get Janna coming in. The heal from out of vision. Oh baby. It's a beauty. It's a beauty. Baron. Now on the board. Three dragons as well, by the way. Because they got two smites. They got three dragons on this side. Lee Sin's gonna attempt to go for the steel. They know he's there though. Doesn't matter. No steel coming out today. Lee Sin's gonna fall. Janna? Just chilling. I'm so impressed. I'm so pogged watching this, man. It makes me really want to play Janna. And I think, like, after I'm done watching this, I think I'm gonna go play some Janna. <laughs> like, she just walks through him. Doesn't even do anything. Just shields and walks through. I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed. They're just getting domed, man. And, like, these are, like, top tier players like don't get me wrong like i'm obviously gonna be making jokes about how they're getting domed and stuff these are like eu west's finest and that is not me being sarcastic like these are people that are like in master tier they're going into master they're very high low and and any us the real server that isn't uh korea or china um they're they're fucking, they're great at the game like there's no two ways about it no way to mince words these people are great at the game but just sometimes like something just like like it's like it's like the first time when some it's like boxing and the and the and the the early days of boxing the first time somebody ever fought against a southpaw you know they're just like what the heck he's punching me with his other arm he's punching me with his other hand what the heck it's just crazy you just never see it coming it's just it's so out with the realms of thought you're so used to like the binary ones and zeros at the second somebody drops a two in there you just don't even you don't even know which way is up and that's the game. I don't think it's going to be meta, but I, I respect it to no end. Granted, I got to say there's a lot of like, there's a lot of funny business about like how your team feels about this scenario, but like, I, I got to, I got to limit testing myself with a team of people that know what's happening and like, um, you know, what? Spicy. 